all of us here at the Bold and the Beautiful. Happy, Happy 60th, 60th anniversary, anniversary KTV. I was looking, let's do it again. I thought I had it. Action. From all of us here at the Bold and the Beautiful. Happy, Happy 60th, 60th anniversary, KTVL. I'm supposed to say it too. <laughs> What's the <matter? laughs> That is not what I was saying, Stephanie. This is my husband, my family. You keep your bad ass. You keep your bad ass. <laughs> 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 Thank you. All right, here we go. It's bold live time. Those are just some uh, outtakes of our favorite guests, uh, guests of uh, the, uh, the hour right now, uh, Jacqueline McKinnis Wood and. Tanner Novelin. Hey, I'm Casey Kazmizek, supervising producer of The Bold and the Beautiful, and I'm so excited to, you know, this is the first time we're doing uh, couples here on Bold Live, and um, it's it's also kind of a, it's a, this is a O Canada Day, because we have two Canadians on the show, so that's exciting too, so uh, Mona from Montreal, you know, this is for you. This show is dedicated to Mona. Um, you guys watched the show this week? Of course you did. Um, and um, we're going to talk about that too. So get comfortable. I see a lot of you are here already. And we can't wait to answer your questions in three, two, one. Hi. How's everybody doing? I'm letting you all come on in. Um, I, how am I doing? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. Um, I was I was gonna say um, oh, oh I just I'm smiling because I had a teeth cleaning this morning. It's always so much fun. I don't know why I'm starting the show by saying about my teeth cleaning, but it I always feel like it's very um, uh, um, like I feel like I'm scolded when I go get my teeth cleaned because they always say, mm, "Are you flossing?" Yes. Every day? Yes. Like, do you know how to floss? I, I thought I did, but it's, they're always there. It's never good enough for them. It's never good enough for them. Are you, are you right? Okay. So I got that off my chest. Um, and I, and I have Tanner and Jackie in the waiting room and they're like, what are we doing here? Why, what is Casey talking about? Uh, yes, Candace, dental health is very important. In fact, I might do a whole show just on, um, dental health. That would be a really exciting show. Um, um, oh, also Rams, we did it. We did it. We're going to the Super Bowl. And I know Tanner's very excited about the Rams too. We're all very excited. And, um, I'm just gonna like, just throw this out there now. If any of you, um, have access to Super Bowl tickets, uh, please let me know. And, um, I will hook you up with anything bold and beautiful that you want. I know the right people. So, uh, Super Bowl tickets, bold and beautiful experience. I'm just saying those, those, those would be pretty good. Um, um, so, okay. And then I want to give a shout out to David, our moderator. He's there, uh, moderating on, <laughs> Uh, like, oh, I like, thank you, soap guy. I, David's moderating your little, your, your questions and, um, uh, whatever, what, you know, whatever, um, things you want to throw at me. Um, and in fact, I'm going to see what we got here. Okay. He's already throwing me some questions. Excellent. And I have some video questions and, um, it's been a very busy day here at the bowl and the beautiful. Um, oh, also I want us to say, where, where did I print that out? I know I print. Did I not print it out? Oh, I didn't print it out. I'm going to print it out because I, I had like, I had like visual, visual aids to go with this. Um, but I didn't print it out. But last week I said some things at the end of the show that bold and beautiful will never be the same. And that, that got uh, a lot of people talking, a lot of big, big pickup. So, um, you got to watch this show because this is, you know, where you're going to, find out about things, even though I really said nothing. I, I said nothing. I just said, keep watching the show, but that got you excited, but it will be. Okay. So are, is everybody comfortable? My mom's on good. My mom's watching. Hi mom. Uh, Rana is her name. Uh, she, she prefers to be called Rana, uh, in this world. She's also been a regular, uh, a recurring cast member on the show in the AA meetings. So shout out to Rana. Okay. Oh, you got it. Is that? No, that wasn't the printout. 
there's a different printout. I'll print it out, Rachel. Thank you, though. That was nice of her to bring that in. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's hope the technology works because we got two guests on this show today. Please welcome Jackie McKinnis Wood. Boom, there she is. Hi, can you hear me? Perfect. You look amazing. Okay. Thank you. And Hi, here everyone. is here's Tanner. Boom. 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 There they are, the <laughs> Finnegans. <laughs> the Finnegans are here. The Finnegans are the, here. The, the unofficial Finnegans. <laughs> yes. Well, Hi everyone. So what have you guys been doing today? I've been running around. Just uh, I'm here in LA, and I was with my children, uh, just getting some stuff done. So it's uh, it's been really nice today. What about you? Me? I've been taking in yeah. the Olympics. We've been we were we've been oh. big Olympics in this house. So opening okay. ceremonies were last night, and it's a family war because my wife's American and I'm Canadian. Oh, but I live here, so I do support. But when it's head to head, and we Canadians, Jack, we are awesome at the winter games, as we should be. It's I mean, obviously, it's like, like in our blood. Nine months out of the year, so we kick ass. <laughs> so I'm I'm prepped, man. I can't wait for tonight. I don't know what tonight is. Figure skating, maybe. I gotta look. I don't know, but um, I, I that's awesome that you're big in the Olympics. Yeah, I I miss. Yeah. I, I guess the opening ceremonies are replaying all day, so I'm gonna watch them later, and uh, settle in. I love the Olympics. Yeah. I'm geared up, but I should have got my teeth cleaned like you did. I was gonna, yeah, I was, I was gonna say you actually floss every day, Casey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you should do? You should oil pull. Just put like coconut oil in your mouth. That's what I do a lot. Got floss you right here. Is, wow, look at right. you. you got is that right is here. that what I taste when we kiss, Jackie? Coconut? It's not coconut. coconut. Maybe some ribs. Okay. It's usually like well, ribs or Indian. Oh food. yeah. So, so let's talk. Okay. So you brought it up. So what is there? Is there a, a dental routine before you have a kissing scene? For Jackie, uh, well, I, especially. Yeah, you know, have some ribs, of course. <laughs> I I definitely uh, am notorious for like oil pulling. So people will see me and. They think uh, if I'm not saying hi to them, I'm usually like swishing uh, coconut oil around my mouth. Oh. Uh, so I'm usually doing that. Uh, and yeah, just like, yeah, just brush your teeth and make sure you're like minty fresh. I forget about it. And then at the last minute, someone on set is it's like, hey, do you want some mouth? I'm like, oh my God. Yeah. Thank you. And then I it's quickly funny, it's fit funny, it in the fake like, sink in the back of the first I don't care uh, if it's like. I don't like if, so, you know, when someone has like garlic breath or something, I don't care about that. You know, like that kind of, because sometimes I'll say that if I have a garlic roll. No, I always say that if I do, because it, but it, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't right. bother me, but. It, uh, we're, I'm more courteous. I'm, this is the Canadian courtesy. I'm making sure, but I'm like, I don't care what I really smell like. <laughs> like coffee uh, or garlic. <laughs> well, that's true. And in the, in the, uh, whether on camera number one, there's always like some, um, you know, mint gum or something for the actors to pop in before the scene but yeah, yeah that's but do you ever pull any pranks on each other though like do you purposely um, try to eat something well i don't well we pull pranks on each other although i'm usually notorious for like busting tanner although i got my karma and it wasn't it wasn't a kissing scene. It was more, uh, we finished all of our scenes and I said to Tanner, he's like, oh, okay, we're done. See you. Bye. And I'm like, oh no, we have that other thing. The other scene. You know, we have like that three <laughs> He's like, what are you talking about? What? I go, you yeah, melted down. Like, oh, I'm man, not sure. That's a lot of dialogue. And I'm, I'm notorious for doing that. I do that all the time. And he just freaks out every single time. Yeah, but it's funny. It bit me in the ass because I said that to him. And then I was laughing and leaving uh, to go home. And the AD was like, uh, Jackie, you have a scene right now. And it's a monologue. So <laughs> needless to say, I stopped doing that because that was like such a panic. I had a whole monologue that I didn't know and had to uh, figure it out. But uh, yeah, so I learned my lesson there. Yeah, you took your own medicine. I did. I know. <laughs> <laughs> That was so crazy. Now, okay, so you guys play, uh, you know, husband and wife on the show. You also, you know, are parents on the show and your parents in real life. Do your children in real life hang out? Do you guys ever have play dates? Oh, I thought you were going to ask another question. I thought you were going to say, no. do your children 
sleep as much as the children on the show. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why no, is and Kelly by the way, sleeping? By the way, if yeah. Amelia ever, ever needs work outside of the Foresters, I would hire her in a second. She's incredible. Yeah, I she's mean, she's an amazing. Of. You guys Best can talk ever. for hours in the kids' sleep. Is that real uh, Real it's life? Just, it's so crazy. Yeah, I'm always like, yeah, I really wish my children were like that. No, they're nonstop. They're running around right now. Uh, yeah, but beautiful. yeah, our children, our children hang out. We were just uh, together like a week or two ago, and we had our kids together, and they play great. So it's really, really nice. Jackie's a great one. She always has the spots all scouted out. So I'll, I'll ask her, like, hey, you want to get the kids together? Because they're literally only a few months apart. They're so cute together, her eyes and, and Poppy. And, and now Lennox, the little one's catching up, too. <laughs> but she's always like, oh, I got the spot. And we'll uh, and I'll, okay, and she'll text me the address, and I'll walk in. On, and Poppy's never been here, because I've and it'll be a warehouse of ball pits. <laughs> And trampolines. I'm just like, yeah, you've never been here before. I'm like, no. And I always feel like, like a really bad dad because I'm like, Poppy's like, this exists. I'm dad, why are we? So she's always asking me. She associates like Rise and, and, and Jackie with like the most incredible places everywhere. I did take her to Disneyland though, so try one up in that. Nice. We've yet to do that. Oh, all right. Well. Disneyland is, uh, yeah, Disneyland is a rite of passage for everybody. Are yeah. you? Do you not like Disneyland, Jackie? I I do. I think it's just not like I know. Once I do it, what you like? It's Disneyland. Like after the other things, I bring bring them to <laughs> and be like, "What is this? I went to Disneyland." Uh, <laughs> So I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to wait till Lennox gets a little older. Okay. And I, I I, never really appreciated it uh, when I didn't have children. I was like, whatever. There's yeah. no scary rides. I don't care. I'm such an adrenaline junkie. Well, I don't want to go for uh, like, I don't know, it's a small world or whatever they have. But now having children, I want to see the place through their eyes. Because I do remember the first time <laughs> I went yeah. was in Florida. And I was like, I don't know. 13, 13 and I was like it was such a moment but I wanted to remember but yeah I can't be like I go there and then it's like the ball pit's not going to be anything anymore <laughs> right yeah you're you're gonna like skip out on your kids and go do the new Star Wars ride you're like sorry kids you can figure out the Dumbo Jackie's got yeah. to go <laughs> morning times and you gotta no, go, you go for your kids you nut yeah <laughs> I'll do it eventually do okay. it. it's so fun they love it that would be awesome all right well um I want okay so i get i sent you guys these okay let, let's get to the fan questions and then if we have time i want to play this a game that i sent you guys the questions for did you see those i can ask you them live it's you fine a game? Hmm? okay huh okay all right yeah. I'm gonna, well no i want to play a game i want to play um, all right, let's play and i even made a graphic for it see and i want to play it's called the finnegan's it's like the newlywed game but we're gonna be called the finnegan's it's the newlywed oh, game nice. because okay. you guys are newlyweds on the show and you know did you guys ever even go on a honeymoon or anything? Your characters? Nobody we goes what? on a honeymoon. We just hung out with the kids, I think. We had one night. I don't know. You find out your mom is uh, the devil, and then, you know, that would really ruin the honeymoon night. Yeah, Sheila kind of ruined uh, ruined the vibe, I think, with that one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know. We haven't. We never went on a hon honeymoon, I don't think. Mm -mm. It's all such a burden. No, no but you had a wonderful home. proposal out in on um, in Malibu at the Cliff House. <laughs> the water for the baby oh. was mine. Yes. Oh my gosh, I've I've literally forgotten all about this. Did you I, can you believe that we did that at the beginning at the end of last year? Because it aired at the beginning. I don't know. And and then Kayla st stood started. in for you because we still had COVID protocols. You couldn't be close. And then I had no and then 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 Tanner had to step out and I had to just stare at the sun. Yeah, yeah. And right. my and wife came in. I proposed to my wife twice. Good times. Yeah. Good. I renewed yeah. my vows. It was nice. And actually, these what I said, I I did not do a great job on my proposal. It was it worked out. It was all really, you know, well choreographed. Mm -hmm. and I got, my big speech never really came out as well as Finn's did. So it was nice to have like a redo. <laughs> oh. oh, oh, with 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 Kayla. With Kayla, with my real wife, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I had a big thing planned. It was about, we were on the ocean, we were on the water, we were, I was going to say these nice things about how life and the ocean are correlated. You know, so it can be rocky times, it can be smooth times, but it's all beautiful. Oh. And I said, life is like an ocean. And she said, what? 
and I just aborted the whole thing. And I just, was just from the heart. oh my Go god, from the heart. just in the moment from the heart. Prep stuff doesn't work. <laughs> that is brilliant. That is beautiful. That is, I mean, wow. you know, <laughs> Finn did it better. Well, <laughs> life is like an ocean. <laughs> that could be on my tombstone. I'll put it there. Uh, oh, that was life like, like an ocean. Um, uh, all right. Well, I'm going to open up this phone line. I don't know. If, I, I hope this works. Is Oh, no, that's the wrong button. There's the fan line. Okay. So now you fans at there watching the show, Do please call. But if you're calling to ask Jackie and Tanner a question, uh, please um, state your name, where you're calling from, and get to your question so we can get as many of you in as possible. So let's just, I'm pushing the button. Here it goes. I don't know who's going to be. Hi, welcome to Bold Live. Um, hold on, Casey. I'm holding. <laughs> okay, here I am. I just had to close the laptop. You guys won't even believe I've got two phones going, the laptop going. Two phones? And I'm calling it twice? Well, hang up on those other people. Talk to the, uh, okay, <laughs> here I am. Can you guys hear me? So it sounds like one's like Verizon or something. Are you on hold? <laughs> Um, so now listen, I, I'm actually here. I had two phones going and the laptop going. So I literally had a lab going to get you guys. All right. Uh, oh, wow. I What's your I name? I know you've called before. Oh, What's your name? Sam, 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 Sam from Florida. Oh, I don't oh, Sam from Florida. My G. That's right. That's right. I've been <laughs> waiting to get to you guys. I've been waiting to see Sin together. Oh, y'all are my favorite. No. Oh. Are you just saying we that because the, they're here? We are or? the best. I agree. Because I feel like you said that last time when we had. Never mind. I'm just joking. <laughs> Casey, whoa. What yeah, do you? I am. Yeah, it's me. What do you like about them? Um, everything. They're so sexy. So I think I um, Brad Bell. No, no, it's absolutely the case. He he went out of his way. Yeah, he, so Bell went out of his way to find the two sexiest people. Sexy. I love that. On 12.30 in the afternoon, baby, I, I, I'm with you. Yeah, sexy. Um, Jackie right. is just That's gorgeous, right. beautiful. Tanner is just gorgeous, handsome. And the two of them together in the same scene, it's just everything. <laughs> I feel like I have to cool yeah. you off there, Sam. Getting very Sam, hot here. <laughs> It's a family show. Tanner you, yeah. Tanner, you have been making, I'm sure you've been making women hot forever. So I'm sure you're used to it. Uh, so yes, guys, that's something I Tanner have and I have something. in common, for sure. Yeah. Oh, oh, don't worry, Casey. There's someone for everyone. <laughs> um, so, Jack, my first question is for you. And it might, I hope it's not too much, but I'd like to know how you met your handsome husband. Yeah, I'd like to know that, too. Uh, how I met my husband, uh, my best friend, who's now a godfather of my two children, he introduced us. Uh, he was trying to get us to meet for years and it just wasn't the right time. And we kind of met in passing, but uh, it just, yeah, like I, I think we were both in different relationships and then it kind of worked out. So I, I'm, you know, props to my best friend for hooking us up because it, it really happened immediately. Right, so we went on a first date, it's like, we knew this was it, so yeah. Wow. And one, right. of, your, one of your first New Year's together with Elon, you were in Sydney, right? Yeah. And I, yes. I, was, I was there scouting locations and you said, well, stay there. And I, I should have stayed and hung out with you for New Year's because that would have been amazing. Because but I, we were on the, yeah. we. Were I know you were in the, the harbor with the fireworks. On the harbor. We were in the, on the boat. Yeah, we would have loved to have had you. It was and so, had so I known fun. this would be become, yeah. this guy became your husband, I would have hung out. But yeah, that's amazing. I know. Yeah, I'm sure Elon would have loved you just to come block out the game he was trying to have in Australia. <laughs> Actually, yeah. he would have loved it. <laughs> yeah. he have it like, He's like, I'm going to fly on the other side of the world. Oh, hey, Casey. Great. Thanks, man. Oh, my. But Tanner, how did you meet Kayla? Uh, well, we found out how Tanner met Kayla already on a music at a music video, right? You guys that's were doing right. music video <laughs> Sam, would you like to take over as host? It's I. I can... Sam is awesome. We, you're right, Sam. We met on a music video, so we're forever 
have a time stamp and not only like well, a time stamp, but like a a, a theme a music theme song to basically our relationship. Aww. And it's called Maybe. All oh, right. So okay. is that a good home? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. The name of the music video in the song, the song is called Maybe. So if you want to see us when we first met as babies, you so can guys, go. Guys, I accidentally that. put you on hold. I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. I apologize. We'll wait. I accidentally put you on hold. No, no, I'm back now. I'm back now. Okay. No, Sam. You're well, Sam, back. I'm gonna have to get to. Uh, I've got 14 people waiting. Okay. Bye, All Sam. Right. Love you, Jackie. Love you, Tanner. Bye, guys. Nice Bye. talking to you. Bye, bye. I mean, that's what you get for putting us on hold. <laughs> Nobody puts me on hold. Hi, welcome to Bold Live. Hi, how are you? It's Dina from Frankfurt, New York. Dina. How are you guys? Hi. What's up? Hi. Well, next week on the 12th is my birthday, so I'm All excited. Right. Happy birthday. Tomorrow we're going out for my birthday tomorrow, um, but I'm not going to casino. If you remember the last time I talked to you, then I was at the casino and I didn't oh, want to I remember that. Off. Did you win? <laughs> was it was it, was it good no, luck? No, uh, but that's okay. How's it going? But anyways, I got my neighbor Jim here. I'm over here, and we're you know watching this, and it's awesome. But um, I have a scenario that I think it would be good for Stephanie. Um, that I think um, for your your mom and dad to be together, that maybe they should have um, your um, what's his name? Not a little boy, um, to go and be with uh, your father and maybe they have a baseball day or something, they go out and then he just happens to say, um, grandpa, I saw grandma kissing, uh, Santa Claus, but you know, and then have it go that way, this way he's saying it to him. And then that starts a whole big, like, that sounds like a good idea, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, well, I like absolutely. That. But it's it's be a lot Gina, I'm not going to say it's not a bad idea, but um, keep watching. I guess I can't really comment one way or another because uh, no, I, I know, I know. A lot of Steffi trying to stress it to her father and. But Steffi today, but today, but boys. today's show, we did see that uh, Steffi saw on the security camera that Deacon uh, was at Brooks' house. Yeah, I actually Ooh. unfortunately didn't get to watch it because I had to go pay my rent. So Jim's like, well, you come over tomorrow morning and we can watch it because he tapes it for me. So I hate when I miss it, but I always supposed to say up spoiler on alert, Casey. Spoil, spoil. Well, it's already aired. <laughs> it already aired. That's true. That's true. That's true. <laughs> but as for Finn, I think you guys are a great couple. And I, from what I've seen on, uh, um, Steffi on your, uh, instagrams and stuff i saw your videos of you and your kids it's like i'm a mom myself my daughter's going to be 16 in march and we're doing a big party at the uh, beersley castle but i think it's great because i see you're so loving and everything so you seem like the way you are on, on the soap you're you're so loving because i got like i said my neighbor jim here he loves the show he can't he can't stop watching either and he's a newcomer so <laughs> You guys are great. Casey, you're great, too. I, I just can't get enough of Bold and the Beautiful. So. Well, I can't get enough of you, that. Gina. Thank you so much for calling. I am so glad. Thanks, Thank you very much. And have a great night, guys. And see you oh. next week. You have a good birthday. You too. Thanks, Gina. Happy birthday. All right. I have some questions uh, from our uh, people chatting. Um, they, did Steffi and Finn yeah. sign the marriage certificate yet? Is it official? We don't know. Still waiting, Steffi. I can't say. I, I just. Uh... Yeah, still holding out. I I'm gonna say yes. They <laughs> signed the certificate. Okay, there's no question on that. Uh, Thank I don't you. Remember doing that? Several. Well, I signed it. I'm okay, this is a personal Steffi. question, Jackie. Several fans want to know if you're having a boy or a girl. We're gonna leave that as a question mark. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'll have to do another reveal. You know, with my third, I. I, I guess I have to do some kind of reveal, but I'm always so busy with my children now. So 
We'll yeah, do the one poor, soon. The poor third kid. Like by the time you get to it, you're like, ah, oh, guys. You're I have for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm adamant. I have to. I have to do something extra because I was so extra with both of my my two children. So I got to do it again. <laughs> you could always bring that horse back. It's great. Do something with that. I, I thought about it. I do see that horse. Well, back. right. Okay. Uh, you one you announced on entertainment tonight. The other one, uh, you did that amazing like TikTok video where you. Mm -hmm. Oh the, yeah, that's right. I don't remember video. That. So yeah, so we'll be looking for. I did announcement though. It was on the talk, and then. Um, oh, that's true too. The there. talk. Yeah, because I was. Yeah. I was bumping. I was bumping. So I, I, I was going to say I, I was going to keep it and do a bit a big reveal, but I popped a little earlier, so yeah. I kind of had no. <laughs> um, I have a great question from Candace, uh, our, our one of our favorite super fan guests. She wants to know, and this is good. This is good because it's coming up. Valentine's Day is coming up. She wants to know: Did you have a favorite Valentine's Day? Like, what what would make a good Valentine's Day? I always say I'm not going to say that it's, over, it's overrated, <laughs> but it's a little overrated. But um, I think as I get older now, it's a little overrated. Personally, I'm just kind of like. Yeah, I think it's, yeah, for me, um, I think it is important to, with your significant other, to like check in and still have a date night is because life gets crazy. So I think that it's a nice, like Valentine's is a nice reminder to do something. Um, but as far as like a favorite Valentine's Day, like I don't, I've had good ones. We I've used to ones. like, we had a group, we have a group that us. <laughs> I'm being honest, <laughs> but like, I guess like my husband and I, we, we always like, we always try to have like romantic date night and like really, like I said, check in. And, and, um, so like, I know we've had favorite moments. I don't know. I wouldn't say that would be like for Valentine's day, but anyways. What, what, Tanner, what were you going to say? Well, we would, I, I would call on all troops and we'd get a, a bunch of my close friends and we'd always kind of do a trip just something local, something easy and take the girls to like the mountains or something mm. for the weekend, like do something okay. together and then, and then, <laughs> and then just call it in like that. But yeah, I think you're right, Jack. You gotta do a little something special, but I'm not, we're not, we're not big on over the top stuff for Valentine's day. It's a little force. You should be doing that all the time. Yeah. Check There's in. so much pressure on the gift. Yeah. I know one time for Valentine's day, I bought my girlfriend this um, bottle of perfume at a kiosk at the Grove, it was a bottle of perfume that was in the shape of a bo uh, a book. It was like a book, and she was a teacher, so it was a book. And then and and, and I thought that's kind of cool. And she liked books, and it, but it's it was like it said, like her story or something. And I, I don't know, gave her this bottle of perfume, and she didn't she didn't really like it. So <laughs> we, it, we we broke up shortly after that. So I always smell? thought, don't get perfume, don't do perfume. What was the scent? Like old librarian? I, or I don't know. What, it was book? like forty dollars. It was like for <laughs> an old librarian. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's class. Yeah. So I don't. I don't. Do you like? Do you get perfume to Kayla? Um. You know, we're we're not like huge gift givers in that okay. way. We do things together. I think we like experiences. Kayla likes an experience. Okay. So it doesn't have to be anything big, but yeah, taking some time out of the day I'm, and have a little one on one, take a hey, check this out. It could be going to the a cool park with a sunset or something just a little Well, special. we're so spoiled here in LA, we can always go to the beach and that's always a win. Very true. You can never go wrong there. Oh, else is on this phone line? Hello. 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 Welcome. Hi, Casey. How are you doing? I'm good. Say hi to Jackie and Tanner. Hey, how you doing, Jackie and Tanner? Hey, how are you? What's your name? Uh, I'm Joey. I'm calling from Illinois. I called in last week on the show. <laughs> hey, Joey. Nice. Hi. I, I, I'm a big fan of um, The Bold and Beautiful. I've watched uh, since nine, 1997, and... Um, it's nice to get through to you guys and talk to you. And um, I'm looking forward to the upcoming scenes at the, for next week. You know, um, I've, all this week has been fun. And uh, I remember Jack, Jacqueline, when she first played on the, uh, she came on Bold and Beautiful. And uh, I just, it's nice that you guys have this uh, call in show and um, you guys do a great job. Oh, thank well, thank you, you so yeah, much. It's fun to be able to talk with you guys like this, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm, I'm, you know, uh, you, hey, I got a question. Do you guys, 
can fans write you uh, guys to the mail? And could you guys like, do you guys have like a picture that you guys can sign? Yeah, yeah absolutely. 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 I think it's on the website. Uh, somewhere Casey, to send, right? Casey? Yeah. yeah I, I was just looking for a picture of me that I could sign. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Put, put it in the show notes, the address, and then. Uh, we can well, send why don't something. you go ahead, email us uh, bold live at uh, boldandbeautiful.tv, bold live at boldandbeautiful.tv, and we can send you information. Okay. All right. Thank you. You guys, God bless and take care. You too, right? All See right. Um, I do want to shout out Nick K uh, did a $9.99 super chat. So thank you for that. that. That money helps go to make this YouTube channel bigger and better. Um, and Nick says, hi, Jackie, in parentheses, and Tanner, um, a.k.a. Greek lamb from snowy Chicago. Congratulations for the new baby. Wishing you the best. Steffi wants parents reunited. Is she still scared or more hate, hated, hatred for Brooke? Oh, is she still scarred? I'm sorry. Are you still scarred? You sound, you, or is it scared or scarred? You sound like Jackie rehearsing her lines. With I don't me know. Is, is she is she still <laughs> scarred? <laughs> I think scarred. I don't know. What? How does Stephanie feel about Brooke? I she has a love hate more on the hate side relationship with Brooke. Uh, well, watch who, Wednesday's show coming up. It's going to be a well, good. One who disturbs her father's peace is going to be you know is going to have an issue with Steffi. So I know, but I, I feel like you're you and you and Thomas are a little ungrateful to Brooke. I mean, she helped raise you guys. Oh whatever. And you Lord. are just <laughs> not <laughs> nice. <laughs> you're just uh, like your grandmother. You're just like your yeah, there. yeah. She, Steffi's exactly like her namesake. Hey, at the end of the day, when it comes to someone you love, you're not going to think about oh they've done they were there for me when I was younger. No, they they're you're going to think about what that person is doing to the person that you care about. And I think that's in me and myself and Jacqueline, and I think that's in in Steffi. I'm like lo very loyal, and and Steffi's loyal too. I mean, it's her father, but. She's just watched, even though her father has made a lot of mistakes, it's still her dad. And she's just always had an issue with Brooke and they never seem to like make it, you know, make it work. They have moments of it, but um, she just knows that her father could be happy somewhere else. Hmm. Yeah. That's, B that's mm. BS. Mm. Your dad is happy with mm. Brooke. And you need to support your father. He's happy with Brooke. He has moments where he's happy. And I, I totally get that. But he shouldn't. Then he needs to go and talk to somebody else about how he feels. Because he goes in and he goes to Steffi and, and Tom's like, I don't know what I'm doing with my life and with Brooke. So, of course, Steffi's going to clock that and then have, you know, an opinion. Like a, yeah. That was an it's okay definitely, person. It's definitely person. very fun to watch. And I love the history. So, it's, uh, I, I love it. I'm just reading some of these comments. It really got the comments going with that with that debate. Hi, who's this? Hi, this is Suzanne, and I'm calling from St. Louis, Missouri. Hello, Hi Suzanne. There. Hi, um, I have a question for um, both the actors. Um, Tanner, where has Finn been? Um, have you been off shooting Liberty Mutual commercials? Where, where have been <laughs> again? No, you. Well, what happened was, is you, you know, we got a lot of feedback on how Finn's really not at work a lot. He's not much at the hospital, and so we took that into consideration. So I've been working at the hospital. Oh, good, good. good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Steffi is probably broke. You know, she needs a her doctor to pay paycheck. I think he's letting <laughs> Steffi figure it out at home and all the ridge trouble. <laughs> I'm with Amelia. And then, yeah, well, I was gonna say, um, nobody, even when people go to work, especially at Forest Creations, they're never working. They're I know, right? Office, because so. it's boring to see people working. That's not true. We need a fashion show. When's a big fashion? Well, show? that's fashion not show? that. Yeah. Well, Let's there's been this. tons of fashion shows. We just haven't seen them. <laughs> I know. Well, hope for the future. You guys been working on this for a few. Well, I do you know, get concerned about the, the CEOs of Forrester. Like, what what are they doing really? Like, what is happening there? <laughs> Brooke was a good CEO. I'm just stirring the pot now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> um, and then Jackie. Um, 
this is kind of an I, you know, and I know Mona's going to be like, quit giving them ideas for storylines. They have no control, but they, I think they would have to run this by you. Um, what if they brought Phoebe back from the dead and you play dual characters? Because I could see a lot of Finn being confused and falling into bed with the wrong twin. And I don't think Bolt has ever done <laughs> twins lookalikes, but Matt Handy could probably um, verify that. But I don't remember it ever happening. Well, I think the, that's very. Steffi well, and Phoebe I would did look alike. I'd be open to it. I would be open to it. You know, I remember someone asking me that before, and uh, yeah, that would be fun. Like it'd be fun to see yeah, Phoebe came back, but because there's so much you could do there, it, it would be a lot of work. But maybe it was like a short storyline. <laughs> yeah. Well, great, and thank you both for doing this, and thank you, Casey, for all, always hosting. But I know a lot of people are waiting, so have a good evening. Okay. Thanks for thank calling you, in, Suzanne. Bye-bye. Thanks. Um, well, since I, I had another question earlier from Dion Scobie. What if Steffi's evil twin shows up in town at the same time as Liam's evil twin? I'm not sure. That, that's a... Do you I think they have... Forgot. Do you have Doppler, Doppler gangers? A doppelganger? Doppelganger, yeah. Do you think that, that, that Steffi would? I don't know. If Steffi has an evil twin and Liam has an evil twin... Do you think that evil twin would bounce back and forth between the other evil twin? In I don't know. Of I don't know. Liam again. Speaking of, okay, do uh, uh, do you guys? Uh, how often do you get recognized out in public? Well, it's a pandemic, so everyone's like this right now, and so it's a little bit, you know, it's and everyone's kind of still staying at home in this part of the country, anyway. Well, maybe before the pandemic, meet. like, do you it's, do you get? I started during the pandemic. I know. I've been, I've been grats rude. So, uh, yeah, it's, but it's whenever I do meet someone, it's really, it's always really fun. Everyone's so nice. Yeah, it happens. It, it's, uh, knock on wood, I haven't had like any crazy horror stories. I remember like getting on the show and I heard some of the actors saying, like, I had this stalker and I had this crazy fan. And I was like, oh my God, what am I getting myself into? Mm -hmm. uh, but no, like you get funny questions and stuff like that, you know, and, there's been a ton of funny moments, but yeah, it, it happens. And yeah, they've seen me at my best. They've seen me at my worst, but this is what it is. I, I, it's I, always like, fun. To, it, oh, it's like, I have no shame in my game. So no. And wanna, it's always fun to just interact. Like we can interact online now, you know? So it's an easy way to, to, to talk to, to everyone that way too. And, and you can have a bit of a conversation, you know, it's a virtual world now. Uh, I always get, yeah, I always get uh, people think I look like somebody like there we go like oh you remind me of somebody I get that a lot like I feel like I have a doppelganger out there so that's what you know mm. I don't know <laughs> this is just my, my maybe I have an evil twin out there maybe, maybe I yeah, have yeah, a you twin very familiar you're very familiar which is good yeah very nice. familiar like very familiar um that's I a good do, energy to have Casey I do yeah. I I guess okay so I got another uh oh my goodness Thane Poland uh just sent in $20 and he wants to know, Tanner, do you get cold taking your shirt off constantly? Uh, yes. The set is always cold. I, 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 I you, you, check out my nipples next time. If you zoom in real close, you can tell how cold <laughs> the set is that day. Is that, uh, um, but I do always and when they missed me because I've been running or I've been oh. in the water surfing, that adds an extra level, but, uh, they you douse know. you with water. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, anything for Steffi. I gotta keep the keep it hot and keep it warm. How, how was Steffi. it? You never know. You never know with this Steffi. She's you know. So you guys were kind of paraded around with her, I think, you know, to keep her <laughs> No, but you were you both kind of shirtless when you I'm sorry to say that when you when you had the birthing scene uh in the in the tub. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that water was was warmer, so that was nice. But yeah, we were that was the <laughs> A lot of people, a lot of people said that was like the first time that a couple uh, was uh, created a baby while giving birth. Yeah, it was beautiful because it was very, a very hot birthing scene. Oh, like, yeah. I mean, <laughs> there is so much heat <laughs> that it's hard. It's hard to turn off with these two, I guess. It know? was her it's second just... child. She knew what she was doing. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, <laughs> oh, man. Oh, it was a pool, Casey, not a tub. Okay, well, thank you for clarifying. Yes, it was yeah, a birthing tub. A birthing tub. Mm -hmm. um, that was a really fun day, though. That was crazy. 
And then yeah. Nick K has another question. He said, Brooke's storyline to become CEO was amazing, the battle for belief, but it's Steffi's turn now to let her give a younger perspective. Yeah, wouldn't, I would love to see a, a, a big Steffi storyline. Yeah, I'm game. I mean, there's always fun storylines, but I, yeah, I would def I always love, would love something that's, uh, I love it when it is Steffi and Brooke, that's always fun. I always, Catherine's incredible and I just love working with her. But yeah, getting back at Forrester and having some like. Well, that was a long ringtone. I'm just. I know. <laughs> I think you just got played off, Jackie. I, I, just... I did. I like <laughs> Wait, I'm running out of time. Okay, I got to keep going. Hi, welcome to Bold Live. The, the Emmys are coming up here. What's up, Casey? <laughs> Hi, what's up, oh, this Rebecca? What's up, Jacqueline? Yeah. Hi. Hey, Rebecca, what you got? How are you? Good. Thank We're great. You. How are you? Good. All right. Um, right. Let's see. I'm trying to think of what to ask you guys. Um, What is your favorite scene that you've done together on the show? Oh, goodness. Favorite I scene? Don't... Man. Uh, you know what? I, I just the birthing scene was memorable. The birthing scene was memorable. I that think was that memorable. Was... I mean, have we have we said what happened during the birthing scene? Have we mentioned that yet? We did mention no. it in a, in a previous. Uh, yeah, we had we had the, the baby mm -hmm. kind of relieved itself in the tub yeah. halfway through shooting. So Jackie and I were kind of just <laughs> the making mix. out. <laughs> I guess you say could say the water got a little hazy. Oh boy! And, oh, oh no, boy! Hey, oh, and a little warmer. Yeah, I think yeah. Hello. Was that a real baby in there? Was that a real baby in there? Uh, no, yeah. not at the beginning, but halfway through, yes. Then they ended mm -hmm. up putting a real baby. Mm -hmm. in. Yeah, mm. never in the water. It's I think a very no, technical. Be, it's very technical. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. kind of like fun, flirty scenes that we have with each other, just kind of like enjoying the moment, are always fun. There, we did our like like emotional scenes earlier on, and that was great. But mm -hmm. yeah, I think it's just make have time to be happy and truly in love and just really be with one another and be present in those scenes. I think those are really fun for me. Yeah. You can say that. Where have you it's been? You time. haven't been on lately, like, Tanner. Where have you been? I've what? been working at the hospital. I've been doing <laughs> a lot of paperwork with the lab. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's they, they don't it's been, the hospital's do, been short staffed and you know, Dr. Finnegan is they only, really they only ever shoot the hospital scenes when the foresters come in. You know, but I am treating a lot of other patients, you know, so it's, I got a real job, guys. You've asked these questions. <laughs> Speaking of babies, Miss Jacqueline, how far along are you, may I ask? I am now uh, six months. Um, yeah. Wow. Six months now. Goes by yeah, fast. It's, it's flying by. My boy's, flying in, my boy's 14. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, Rebecca from San Clemente, <laughs> thanks for calling. Thanks so Always. much. All right. Have a good weekend. All right. I do want to get to a few more callers. I see everyone. I'm I know. These comments. Hi. Hi. Welcome to Bold Live. Hello. Hey. Hey. Hi. Hi. Hey. This is Heather and Tara calling from North Carolina. How y'all doing? Hi. It's me, Ryan. And Ryan. Hi. What's up, guys? Hey, Jackie. Oh my hey. gosh, we like love the show. We're like such big fans. <laughs> oh my yeah. god. <laughs> oh my god, this is so this is amazing. Okay. Okay, so um our first question is Heather, will you will you say the question? Do you think you'll ever have like a storyline where like Finn and Liam get together? No. <laughs> where Finn yeah. and Liam get together? Yes. yes. Hey. <laughs> why, are you, why are you stomping on that so hard? You'd have to come a long way. I just think it'd be a good dramatic storyline. <laughs> okay. Awesome. I'll let them answer it. Oh. Sorry. Okay. Um, our next question is, uh, Jackie, are you uh, hoping for a boy or a girl? I, oh gosh, honestly, I'm really just hoping for like a healthy baby. I think with my mm -hmm. first, I was wanting a healthy baby and hoping for a boy. Um, but now it's kind of like, now that I'm in it, like I really am realizing I just want a big family. So I'm hoping for just he a healthy baby. Well, congratulations. Really happy for you. We're so excited. Heather, so Heather and Ryan? 
Heather and Tara. Oh, Tara. Okay. Is this the first time you've called in? Yes. We're so like, oh my God, it's crazy. We're actually talking to Jackie. <laughs> You're our favorite. You like, the, how long have you watched Bold and Beautiful? I've been watching like since the 90s when I was little. I've been watching since 2019. I actually walked in on my sister watching this, the wedding with Hope and Thomas. And I was like, oh my God, this is, this is amazing. I love it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> also, hi, hi, Tanner. We didn't say hi to you yet. Hey, yeah, we going? love you guys. I love you guys together on the show. Y'all are great. Yeah, y'all better not ever break up. <laughs> mm. <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you awesome. too, and uh, thanks have for a great tuning in, guys. You too. All right. Bye. Well, I love that. I love uh, <laughs> sisters are bonding, watching the bold musical cool. drama. Hi. Hey, Nick. Oh, hi. 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 Um, how are you guys doing? Oh, I made it through. Oh, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> um, hey. This is Ariel from Richmond, Virginia. Hey, Ariel. Hi. Hi. Um, How's it going? Well, I, I'm doing great. I'm happy to get to talk to you guys. Um, I had a question, and somebody already asked my question. So I won't re <laughs> re-ask that again. <laughs> Okay. But um, I just wanted to say, like, both of you guys do a great job. Like, um, I wonder, I have any other questions? Like, oh, will we get any more um scenes with Finn's parents coming up? Oh, yes. Mm. There's Jack and there's Luke. some unsolved business, huh? With with that. Yeah. 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 So um, yeah, stay tuned. There's gonna be uh, there's a lot coming up. Okay, cool. I love your dad. To He's play on charm, so I think that's cool. <laughs> He's on my favorite soap opera. Who is? Um, Finn's dad. He used to play oh. on the TV show Charm. Okay. Oh, Ted. Yeah, oh. Ted is the best. Um, it's really it was really fun to to work with him. Uh, really giving as an actor. Yeah, he was he was awesome. And uh, yeah, just stay tuned. We'll we'll see what goes on. All right, we'll Ariel. See. Thank you so much. I do want to get to a few more. You have a good okay, night. Thank you guys so much. You have a good night. Bye bye. Um, <laughs> right. Got three more to go. And then we're out of here. I'm joking. Hi, welcome to Bold Live. Hello. Uh oh. Oh, they fell asleep. Hello. No. Nope. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hi. Oh my God, is this you, Jackie? Yes, it is. Hi. Oh my god, I can't believe we're actually talking to you. Um, I've been a huge fan of you since you joined the show back in 2008. Oh, I have no idea how excited I am right now. Oh, it's so I'm so happy to be talking with talking to you. This is awesome. Well, um, first I'd like to congratulate you on your pregnancy. Thank you so much. Thank you. No problem. Um, hi, hi Tanner. Hey, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? It's nice to talk to you. Thanks for calling. Uh, I'm so nervous right now. I don't even it's know okay. what to say. Yeah, I, know. I know it's Fine. weird. There's a lot of people listening in on us. Um, it's weird unless you can do that sort I have of a thing. Question for you. Okay, yeah, shoot. Um, in your opinion. Between Scott and Tanner, who do you think is a better kisser? Ooh, Dang. great oh. question. Great Thank you for asking question. that for me. <laughs> they both do it differently. Really? They both do it a little differently. I like both. <laughs> I, I'm going to say right now, sorry, Scott, but I'm going with Tanner. <laughs> <laughs> right answer, right answer. Debbie and, oh, no pressure. Debbie and, and Finn are so in love right now. And I think maybe it's a, Steffi had like a mental block with, with, uh, I get it. Uh, also Scott you know, has a little, like a, yeah, it's kind of like he's, yeah. And it's like, is he still in the hope? And she's always thinking about things. And so I think she really feels at home and at peace with Finn. So, but it, it switches like, who knows? Like Tanner might not have a day, and I'll be like, "Oh, never mind. It's uh, it's Scott." So, <laughs> <laughs> well, Steffi, that's been known to happen with you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for calling. 
Thanks so no much. Bye. Thanks for calling Bye. in. Bye bye. Well, that was some tea there that we just spilled. Uh, can't have Scott on the show and play that clip. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, welcome to Bold Live. Hi. 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 Um, Hi. Yeah. Hi. How's it Raya. going? I'm from Ohio. Hi there. Hey. hey. How's it going? It's going. Stop, Ava. I'm I'm getting an echo, so I have to go to the next room. <laughs> it's all good. It's all I'm, good. I'm fighting off my little toddler all the time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I've called literally every time Jackie has been on, and this is my first time coming through, so I'm like super excited. But you're lucky, Dad. <laughs> oh. And also, you got people call me Tanner because that's my last name. So. <laughs> Get out. Nice. Um, but yeah, my question is for both of the actors, actually. Um, but first I'm going to go with Finn because I feel like he started off as like a super strong character. And I love the fact that he would like put Liam in his place and put everybody in his place. But so far he's put everybody in their place except for Steffi. I love Steffi. Steffi is my girl. But I feel like he should be like, okay, I'm going to get to know my mom without involving her in my kid's life. So that you and the kids are safe but he's not doing that so i was wondering if you're happy with your character development or if you feel like he's gotten a little bit weaker since he started i don't think it's yeah it's a tricky line and balance i mean this, his mom did some pretty horrific things you know um but yeah he's very torn so it is interesting to be able to walk you know, and find that line, it's, it's easier to be when it's definitive and you're like, listen, Lee, and you've been playing these girls against each other for how many seasons? Come on, this is over, you know, but when he's got emotional ties to both of them, he can be swayed both ways. And you're right. We haven't really resolved uh, where he fully is. I mean, right now his dad is, you know, in, in the dumps. And so I think he's supporting Steffi as, as they move forward, but yeah, he's always going to have that tie with Sheila and 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 what went on there so yeah it's going to be interesting to see if we get some fireworks here coming up oh yay that'll be good and yeah. then for jackie i feel like I'm, I'm first of all i'm really happy that she's finally over liam because i can't stand liam he's a loser <laughs> but um <laughs> i feel like huh? her trying to push her mom and dad together like she i feel like she should be worried about ridge hurting her mom because her mom's been through so much like i feel so bad for taylor but steffi has been hurt in the same way that taylor's been hurt so why do you think that she has to push that onto her mother you know you are absolutely right and when i got the script i actually was thinking that it was really hard for me at the beginning to kind of justify even though her father is her rock and she's there for him like i said she's loyal to ridge she doesn't there is a lot of history with taylor so it was really difficult for myself to navigate and not come off as like like i'm just this whiny kid and you know i have my own family and i just want my parents to be back together and kind of justify like why i'd want them back together so it was uh tricky but i think steffi just has so much you know trauma and so many things that have that has happened in the past and yeah i think there's a little bit of her just disliking Brooke and wanting your parents back together. And she's truly just thinking in the moment, I just want them together. I'm not going to care about if my dad's going to hurt her. He wants, she wants to believe that he's, this is a new season of his life and that he is a changed person. If that makes sense. It's a lot to navigate. Trust me. I, like I said, it was, <laughs> I'm still trying to navigate it. <laughs> All right. Well, great question. Yeah. Thank you for calling. And um, I'm going to go to one more caller here. This will be our final caller of Bolt Live. Let's see who this is. Hi. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi. This is Susan calling from Las Vegas. How are you doing, Casey? Hi. And, hey, Susan. And um, Jackie and Tanner. How's it going? We're great. Yeah, How are you? My question. Oh, I'm good. Thank you. Um, how many bedrooms does that house have of Stephanie? At, at the cliff house yeah how many beds as many no. as many as we i need. count four as many as we need I, there's four there's four <laughs> there's our bedroom a nursery a bed 
come upstairs and there's also a guest house. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, nursery, the master bedroom, uh, a guest mm -hmm. room, and a uh, 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 guest house. Yeah. Okay, well, where's Taylor living? I think she's Taylor. in Paris's old room. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She's in the guest uh, house. I, she's in the guest house. She's in the guest house. Although house, she did spend the night upstairs. She, yeah, she's like, come on. She wasn't, she wasn't even in that episode. No, it was, only, it was only Finn that had to stay in the guest house where there's no air conditioning or something. Yeah. So uh, I know, that was funny. Up. That was good. Yeah. That, yeah, that that's where fun. the dogs go. I um, guess. Oh, him in Paris. Oh my God, that girl. Anyways, um, <laughs> listen, you guys Susan. had a great night. I just wanted to say hey and what? What's up, Casey? Oh no, what you? What are you? Paris and and Finn? No, no. Oh my God, that girl. I don't know. I'm sorry. I saw. I saw you interview her. She was, you know, really nice person in real life. But they're writing her to be such a little. I don't know. I don't know. I <laughs> she just it here. crazy. But you know what? Mm. I think that Carter telling her he they can't be together, it's only going to make her want to be with him even more. Because she's like a spoiled girl to me. You know, she gets what she wants all the time, it seems like. so. Mm. And I'm so glad Finn didn't That's make like my character for oh my a God. long time. <laughs> but she did take care of the kids didn't. really well. She put those kids right to bed. She, she was did. a great By help family. at the house. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about how she is with all the guys. Oh. <laughs> well, well. <laughs> well I mean, Susan, I when I have Diamond you. White on, we'll have you come back. Thank you. Thank I just, you. you know, wanted to know what was going on with her. But you guys, listen, yeah. have a great weekend, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks so much. You for too. Calling. Thanks for calling. Thank you, Susan. All right. Bye. You're welcome. Bye. That's Susan. She she talks. She tells you how it is. I'm gonna do. I, I like that. You guys, can you do one more caller? I'll do one more caller. Yeah. Why not? Nope. I hate to say that they couldn't get through. Okay, you are now our official last caller. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> you made it. Hi. Right. <laughs> heads up. How long were you on hold? Me? Oh, I don't know. 20 minutes, a half an hour. Okay. Oh, okay. That's about how long I am when I call um, the utility company. <laughs> it's no problem at all. Actually, Casey, I want to say hi. I interned for you many years ago. I was an oh. AFI student, and uh, oh. I came and interned. You were, you were a babe. You were I was a babe, yes. Oh my goodness! So long ago, and what year was that? Know, I worked in Hollywood. Pardon me. What year was that? Two thousand four, uh, three. Yeah, yeah, two thousand three. Wow. Yeah, a long time ago, and I, you know, I've worked in Hollywood ever since. But I have to tell you, best experience of my life was working at the Bold and the Beautiful. It was amazing. That's awesome. Was me where, too. Where it's Where are you right now? I actually live in San Luis Obispo. Okay. And uh, oh, nice. and it, you know the Christmas parties were epic. By the way, epic Christmas parties, and the nicest people I've ever worked with. Yes, uh, our, we love to party, and the pandemic has really made that difficult. Yeah, no, but you guys are people should know that the bells and the whole environment you set up is a beautiful environment, and it was really my best experience ever in Hollywood. So. Oh, that's I'm so glad I'm so glad you got through. Now, are you currently watching the show? I've been watching the show since 1987, honey. Oh. <laughs> so what? Uber fan. Yeah. So I have a really quick question. I wanted to ask Jackie and Tanner. When you guys were trying out Tanner for the role of Sin, how many guys did you go through, right, to find the right guy? And then how did you know Tanner was the one? That's a good question. I mean, typical I, Steffi fashion. There was a line out the door. Yeah, I think this was the most coveted role in Hollywood. You know what? And then what we've talked about this too is what it was. What poor Tanner was cast in the role, and then Hollywood shut down. So we, right. we he had to wait until we got started back up, like four months later, till he could um, start working. Yeah. So that was. That oh, was, that was weird. 
I don't remember the audition process that that much. I remember that there there was obviously they went through so many guys, and then when it got down to auditioning with me with the screen test, I believe there was like ten guys. Yeah, that's about right. That's like pretty normal. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta go watch those um those tapes then. I want to watch them again. <laughs> that would be kind of fun. I remember the the audition scene was something about my brother, and you had cheated on me with my brother, and it, it was a fake scene. It was you know they write these scenes just for the audition, and I just remember like in this big monologue, ten or twelve times just saying my brother, but like you but no no my brother. Hmm. My brother. It was like one of those <laughs> ones. I remember thinking, like, how the f am I going to make this work? But we made it work. I actually think that was a Liam scene confronting Steffi about her sleeping with Bill. I think that. Oh, really? It was, it was like a recycled one. Brother. Yeah. I think that was the scene. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, because that was see, the scene where Liam the... confronts you in the cliff house after discovering the paternity test. Oh, that's amazing. I yeah. didn't know that. Yeah. I should. Yeah. Oh, wow. I got to pull that one out of the. Well, I don't have my audition Archives. tape, but that'd be interesting to see how Scott yeah. did that. My yeah. brother. Steffi, my brother. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, it's getting late. I know. I, I do a good Scott <laughs> impression, too, but I'm not going to do it now. I'll do it next time. Um, anyway, thank you so much for calling. I didn't. I missed your name. And my name is Maura Johnson. And uh, it's funny. I do have to say one more thing. I really think that, obviously... Um, or Carter has some issues with relationships, and uh, I think he needs to go see Kayla. And uh, mm. I think there could be some transference issues going on there. Mm. Okay. Well, okay. Taylor is I a like good it. doctor who can get to the bottom of things, so we shall see. Uh, exactly. 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 Mm -hmm. Anyway, I, I like your thinking. For such such great entertainment, and really. You make my day every day. So thank you for everything you're doing. And you're wonderful to watch. Thank you. Oh, thanks for watching. All right. See you later. Bye-bye. All right. Well, with that, the fan line is closed. We are closed. And we are coming to an end here on Bold Live. Um, and I can't let you guys leave without... I really wanted to do this newlywed game, but we're, we had I had fun talking to all the callers. So we'll do that next time or yeah. we'll figure that out. But... Um, I just like game shows. That's the thing. I just yeah, like that would have been shows. fun. Okay. Mm. Well, can, wait, can we still do Can we try it? Is it long? Okay. You love game shows. Okay. But like, okay, but, but like, Tanner, you have Speed to, round. you have to mute, mute your, you can't hear what Jackie's saying. Oh. So like, can you turn the volume down and then I'll tell you when to turn it what? back up. Okay. You can't uh, you hear her answers up. and then he's got to guess your answers. Just turn the volume okay, cool. down. Okay. Oh, all right. Turning so it Jackie, off, and then you give me the thumbs oh, up. So I'm asking you this as Steffi. Steffi. Okay. Um, finish this sentence. I wish my husband was pay as much attention to me as he does his blank. Surfboard. 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 I knew that's what you would say. Okay, Steffi. And then here's the last one. Um, which one of your relatives would you say your husband likes the least? Uh, Steffi. Thomas. Yeah, nobody likes Thomas. Okay. All right. Now, Jackie, you need to mute yourself. Okay. And then Tanner. Tanner, come okay. back, Tanner. And I now? Yes. Okay. Now, can, yeah, now, right. now Jackie can't hear us. Uh, she's been okay. she's in the uh, soundproof booth. Okay. Good. Let's see how we really feel about her. Um, if you yeah, right. If you were to look through your wife's purse. What are two things you would find? So as, as Finn, Dr. Finn, looks yeah. through Steffi's What's purse. What's in Steffi's purse? Yeah. Oh, uh, she'd have like, uh, geez. Uh, she had like mints and, a, and, a, and some lip gloss because she's, you know, coming home to me. Or right, maybe well, not. Or maybe well, not. Well, if Liam was looking through her purse, she would have a paternity test. That's what yeah. she's her first normal. <laughs> That's That's okay, so and then um, if your wife is texting someone, who is most likely it to be? Who does Steffi uh, text the most? It would, it, Steffi would probably be texting Amelia to make sure the kids are getting picked up from their play dates and then napping. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> okay, good. All right. Now, Jackie, you can come back. 
Okay. Hi, Jackie. I know you're all muted. All right. So that, now here we go. We are playing the newlywed game with the Finnegans. Dun, dun, dun. dun. Uh, Boom. Okay. <laughs> Steffi. We asked your husband. Who is this for? We, we asked your husband a question. What did he okay. say? He said, uh, we asked. We asked Finn, if your wife is texting someone, who is it most likely to be? What do you think Finn said? Come on, look at me. Look at me in the eyes. Oh. Think about Liam? It. Amelia? Well, I need uh, Liam or Amelia. Are they, is is the Liam and Amelia the same thing person? Ever to say. They're the same well, person? I I'm just thinking... <laughs> Why would you say Liam first? Oh, oh my God! Here we go again. Like, I'm just trying to add some spice to it. Like maybe she said that... Liam. She said Stephanie no. would be texting Liam. Yeah. No, just, you're right. You, then you changed it to what? Amelia. I said Liam or Amelia. Thank there you. you. Okay. Liam yes. Amelia. Amelia. Yes, I said Amelia. Okay. Now you, a, you got play dates and stuff. Now Tanner or, or Finn. <clears throat> Finn. Uh, we asked your wife. I wish my husband would pay as much attention to me as he does his blank. What is, oh, he's always like, what do I do a lot? Oh, I'm always surfing. I'm probably on my surfboard or beach running. I don't know. Workout. Surfboard. She said surfboard. The surfboard. surfboard. You guys, yeah. you guys know each other. Okay. Now back to you, Steffi. If uh, Finn was going through your purse, what are oh. two things he'd find? A pocket knife. Like a oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Steffi carries that pocket knife around. You carry a pocket <laughs> knife around? I almost said mace. No, I'm well, sorry. no, when she pulled the knife. Uh, oh, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Where did that knife come from? We never know. We always a girl always has some type of weapon in their purse. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, no. What? Not what else? She, not since purse? we married Finn. Um. Oh, God, something else in my purse. What would I have in my purse? I don't know. Like a my wallet like i'm trying to think what else i would have your husband said mints and lip gloss mints, mints. <laughs> i don't know that was a, I, I failed that one he was, okay now okay back to you uh finn we asked your wife which oh, one pills. of her yes, which one of her relatives do you like the least what did she say mm. oh well there it, Tom, Thomas? Thomas is a lot. Thomas yeah. is a lot. Is it Tom? Did he get it? It's ah! Thomas. Yeah. Because nobody likes Thomas. Well, oh, I think they have a pretty good relationship, but it's just like he's a lot of work. You know what I mean? Oh, oh yeah. Phone, makeup. Yeah, I could have said all of those things. <laughs> Boom, all right. That's easy. Okay. So now this is the final thing, and then we'll go. We got to say goodbye to all the fans. So, you fans that have been watching the show, thank you first and foremost, and start typing your name. And Jackie and Tanner are going to say all your uh, names, say goodbye and say hello to you. So st start typing your names, go. And it comes up now. Are we switching? Up now, I, I have Thomas. Um, There's Joel. Okay. Oh, Joel, Where? yeah. Hey guys, I've been, by the yeah, way, for the record, I've been, I've been reading all these comments and thanks for everyone for coming in. Yeah, thanks for all of the comments. I've been it's reading awesome. all of you guys. Reina. Bruno. Lindsay, Dion, Dion Kyle, Alex, Ariel, Lionel. Jessica, this is a mess. Sherry, Christy, Lynn, Lionel, Lionel, Misha, Lisa, Kyle, my favorite Colby, Ray, Tony, Ray, Ray Misha, Kathleen, Kathleen, Amanda. I feel every time I do this, it's just Marvin, like my <laughs> I know it goes so fast. You guys, Antonio, and some of them are right in here. You guys, I saw Nick in here too. Now, oh, uh, Canada. <laughs> go Canada is right. Go Canada, go. Mandy. Uh, uh, Mike. And time. Boom. Debbie, That's Melissa. It. We got to wrap you it know, up. You, sh you should do like a timed when you do this. to be like which actor can get the most names. I know. I, I timed it. Uh, but it's, so it thank you all for watching. Um, uh, Jackie, Tanner, thank you for giving your afternoon to us. And um, good luck with Canada on the Olympics. Team Canada. <laughs> Go Canada. Thanks, um, guys. And um, we'll uh, we'll catch up with you guys later. Thanks, guys. See you later. See you. All right. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. All right. Well, that was fun.
that was our first uh, couple uh, bold live with the the with the Finnegans, uh, Steffi and and Finn, Jackie and and uh, I almost said Jackie and Scott, Jackie and Tanner. Um, that was so much fun. But you know why it was so much fun because of all of you. Um, and oh, so I have it printed out now. So like last week, I said something at the end of the show, and it became the story went viral. I found two articles online where the story had gone viral. It said, this was one, this was in um, uh, soapcentral.com article by uh, this person. And uh, Kambra said, shock, shock twist in store for the bold and the beautiful. The show will never be the same. The bold and the beautiful, beautiful supervising producer, Casey Kasprzyk, warns fans to brace themselves because the game-changing Gasp-inducing storyline is coming to the CBS soap this spring, and that, that 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 I said that here, and now the story's gone viral, and then it also was on um, uh, Soap Hub. I think this is Soap Hub, yes, uh, by Charlie Mason, and uh, as bold and beautiful producer warns that in two months the show will never be the same. Krista Allen predicts, "OMG, y'all are gonna go going to go nuts," and. Um, and she doesn't even know what's happening. So, and she knows we're going nuts. So uh, that was another story. So thank you, uh, Charlie, for writing that. So, and then look, look, these people are like shocked. Like they use these photos. I always like this, like what's going on? Of course, Carter's shirtless, but uh, everybody's shocked. Like even Jackie, she's shocked. So that's exciting. So what's going to happen? Well, I'm not going to tell you. I can't tell you what's going to happen. I can just tell you, like, you got to like be watching and uh, because you you just got to be watching. That's all. I'm just I'm just telling you that. Um, but you already are watching, right? So we don't have to worry about that. What else do I got going on? Um, I'm so glad we had time for that game too, because like I was waiting all day to play that game. But then I like debate: Do I want to play the game, or do I rather answer all your questions? Because um, this show is about you. Um, and I'm reading some. Some of these could please ask Tanner if he would be interested in reading. I'm not sure reading. Oh, my post about why I think Finn is awesome. Sure, Marvin, I can ask him. Oh, so, uh, oh, my mom just texted me to call her when I'm done because she watches the show. It's so like, mom, my, I told my mom last week, do not text me during the show. She goes, I know, but I just wanted to um, uh, tell you something. But I'm, I'm doing a show. So it's like, I can't always do that. Um, Thane, thank you for your message. Sorry I didn't wasn't able to get to your video message, but I'll um, try to answer that, uh, get you an answer on that. Also, hey, please follow me on Instagram at Casey Cass or on Twitter at Casey Kasperzik. Um, if you follow me there, you can, you know, send me messages and we can talk and I can hear about uh, what, you know, you think of the show or um, what you think about Bold Live. Um, let me see. Yeah. So please do that there. And also at the top of the show, at the very, very top of the show, I played these, uh, bloopers. Uh, that was just a sample. I've got some really good bloopers that I've been saving over the past six months and we're going to release all of them. And they're pretty much Jackie. Jackie's the one who gives the best outtakes. Uh, we're going to release all of those on our YouTube channel very, very soon. And speaking of our YouTube channel, uh, David Gregg, our moderator, he wrote me this little speech. Um, uh, so, okay, this was this, this, this is the speech he wrote me to like pre-record, but I didn't have time to do it. So I'm going to read it because <clears throat> he wrote it. <clears throat> so let me get some coffee. Mm. Oh, this is my mug too. Isn't that cool? Okay. If you've noticed, this channel has gotten a lot more dynamic recently. Last fall, season one went live on the channel. Now, you can watch every single episode of Season 1 right here, anytime you want, here on the YouTube channel, Bold and Beautiful. What's more, three episodes a day from Season 2 are currently going live seven days a week. That's right, three times seven is 21 episodes a week. After, we're com after we complete uploading Season 2, we're going to continue with Season 3, and then Season 4. And then probably season five. That's not all. Season 32 episodes from 2018 
is also currently going up one episode per day. So like we're kind of meeting in the middle where we got episode one and we have like, Pat, we, we, we're, we can have current episodes from the past two, three years, but we're going to meet in the middle. And at some point we'll have 9,000 episodes on YouTube. If you're enjoying this, Oh yeah, all all in all, there are parts of 16 seasons total of the Bold and the Beautiful on this channel, and you can watch them all for free. If you're enjoying this channel, please consider subscribing, commenting, and sharing the link on your social media because you are our our community. You're right. We need your help to make this bigger and better. Because oh, and then here's here's the big goal. Okay, here's what we're really like going for. Because in a few weeks on March 20, it's more like, not a few weeks, it's like a month and a half, or I guess. In a few weeks, on March 23rd, 2022, The Bold and the Beautiful will be celebrating its 35th anniversary of broadcasting. Exciting! Right now, we have almost 250,000 subscribers. So thank you all. And if, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. If you are a subscriber, you're awesome. We would love it if you guys could get us up to 350,000 subscribers. See, 35th anniversary and 350,000 subscribers. Uh, just in time for anniversary. Wouldn't that be great? Repeat, please consider subscribing, linking videos, leaving comments for us and other viewers, and sharing the link to your channel on your social media accounts. So we are building a bold and beautiful worldwide community and we want everyone to be a part of it. So thank you all for um, that. I hope you understood all I said. Basically, keep watching videos and keep commenting and keep subscribing. And um, you know, we're gonna make this uh, the channel bigger and better and that will be uh, really cool. It's a really, really, really cool. I'm reading some of your comments. Casey, when will you be releasing the standing with you? I know, uh, uh, Shaniqua, I need to get that up there. I promised you guys I would put more of the music. David, remind me, we need to put every song uh, that, uh, that uh, Tony and I have produced on our YouTube channel so people can watch all those songs. Um, Bruno, yeah, thank you, David, for the message. He wrote all that, so hats off to David. Um, what's Roommate? Oh, Roommate was a web series we did a few years ago with um, Maya and Carter. Um, you, uh, Diane's been enjoying season two. Okay, cool. That's awesome. Um, Desyar, you missed you missed the live. Oh, well, that's okay. You can re you can rewatch it. It just won't be live. It'll be bold live previously recorded. Um, bold the musical. Yeah, that would be interesting. Um, happy birthday. My birthday was February 1st. Well, Mermaid Reviews, happy birthday. Soap's Place, you're welcome. Uh, Lionel, Deacon versus Rich. Who's going to win? Oh, my goodness. Well, huh. you're going to have to watch... Um, uh, <laughs> Valentine's Day, let me just tell you this. There's no love loss between Rich and Deacon. That's all I'm going to say. Um, hey, I, I had so much fun talking to them. That was great. I like doing the couples because it was fun to kind of have them, you know, I mean, they're just Tanner and, and Jackie are two amazing people, but it's also fun just to like kind of hear what their thoughts on things and, um, uh, also get some Valentine tips, um, you know. Um, Adam, Brooke must win. Okay. Um, Joe Clearwater, can you email me the address? No, you have to email us or reach out to me on social media. I don't know your email, Joe Clearwater. Um, how about Sheila and Bill? Mm, that, okay, how about anybody for Bill right now? Where is Bill? I mean, we said, where's Finn? Where's Bill? We got to get Bill back. Um, Casey, you say writers care about fan comments, but what do you say? But it doesn't feel that way. Oh, Mona. It, we, oh, come on. Let's not go into the weekend that way. Um, didn't Ridge, Eric, and Thorne beat up Deacon back in 20, 2000? Yeah, they sure did at, at, uh, at a wedding. Uh, that Bridget brought Deacon there and they kicked his butt. 
When, oh, when is Taylor going to, and Grace added to the open? Well, uh, Taylor will be added to the open very soon. In fact, today we shot uh, Krista Allen's uh, opening title shots. So I'm um, very excited for that. Glad we got that finally in the can. And um, yeah, you'll be looking for those. Uh, she'll pro we'll probably post on her social media first as a, as a, as a um, preview. And then it'll air in the show very, 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 very soon. Um, all right, guys. Well, that is about wraps it up for me. This was a very, this was a kind of an extended, uh, bold live episode. But let me tell you, it was a long week here at the Bold and the Beautiful. We are still shooting. Um, and let's see, item, well, we've got about probably, probably going to wrap right at seven. Fingers crossed. That's when we need to wrap. Mona, I love you too. Thank you so much. Ray Bannister, when is your next cameo on the show? I don't know. You guys want to see me on the show again? I don't know. Um, uh, no matter what. Yep. Of course. Please keep the theme song on the show. Yes. It, we, I know that's the best that there is really only one theme song for the show and that's the current one. And I'm so happy that was five years ago. We brought that back for our 30th anniversary and it was such a hit that we said, we're keeping it. And I, I, as long as I'm here, I never want to change the open again. I love the current open. Um, and I love the stills and I think that is, um, that is the show, you know, that, uh, uh, sets it up and that's what started, kicked off the show in 1987. And as long as the photos get updated, there's no reason why we can't keep the same open. There's no reason to change it. Plus I love the logo. Can we bring back more of the old music cues? I agree. I love the old music cues. It just, it's finding a balance and, uh, we will definitely try to do that. When are, when we gonna see more Quinn? I know we need to see more Quinn. Um, still opening his classic. Do not change. You got it, Nick. Love Matt and Candace. They are great. Yeah, Matt and Candace. Let's have you on next week. Catch up. Um, yeah, we need to do that. Let's do. Well, next week we'll have Matt and Candace if they're available. Casey, I missed the 2006 opening. Well, that was good too. Um, maybe sometime we'll, we'll talk about the opening credits because a lot of people are, have a feelings about that. Um, and, uh, uh, yes, bold, bold and beautiful moderator Quinn Rena so far was filming scenes today at the bold and the beautiful. That is correct. What happened to Wyatt? I, these are burning questions. You guys are very, very, very burning questions. I wish I could answer all of them, but unfortunately we're going to have to wrap up the show and, I want to thank you all and hope you guys all have a great weekend and continue to be bold and be beautiful and be back here next week when we welcome uh, a brand new exciting cast, mem cast member couple duo, which we'll announce on our Twitter, Bold Insider. So that's it? That's it. All right. I'm going to miss you guys.